commonly what we see, not just in the DMV area, but all over, is that um, churches want to be engaged with their schools and they want to do well and they want to help the kids within them. Um, but a lot of times, the way that they try and meet their needs aren't as strategic as they can be. So for example, you might have um, a church that does, let's do a winter coat drive. That's, that's great, that's awesome. You know, every kid without a coat needs one. Um, but is there a more immediate need that you could be meeting at the time? Um, is there different resources that you have within your congregation that could be put to better use? Say that the need that fall or that winter is not particularly a coat drive, but they need tutors, math tutors. So do you have anyone in your congregation that would be um, an effective math tutor? Is there a way that you can partner to, you know, either have the kids come after school or you organize your congregants to go to the school um, and help the math teacher out? So there's, what we find is that churches are doing a direct service. They are doing the charity work, but we want to make sure that we're actually meeting the needs that the school has instead of just, you know, doing abstract work that might not be actually helping in the long run. What we do is we train churches and we give them this toolkit to make their congregations no dropout zones. Um, the toolkit itself is a blueprint to create a ministry within your church to make sure that each child in your congregation is on track to graduate that simple. But you'd be surprised at how many churches don't even know, one, how many kids are in their congregations, two, what schools they go to, and three, are they even on track to graduate. And so if we're going to help our public schools, if we're going to help the at-risk youth in those schools and our communities, let's start at home. Let's start in our own congregations and make sure that we know at least where these children are headed and build the infrastructure in-house so that we can replicate it in the greater community as well.